Alrighty, so it was a long day. Extremely. Yeah, we 16,000 steps. 16,000 steps. It was like a day at work. Like we headed out about nine o'clock and we got back just after six. So it's been massive, but let's see what we spent all our money on today. I'm glad to know that um, you spent all your money, but you didn't even have any money. Yeah, and I, I had to, I had to pay for everything else. I, well, I paid for the hat, paid for the shake, paid for lunch. Um, and then you bought the most expensive thing out of any of us. You bought a book, a comic book, so expensive, it's more than what I... Oh, no bullshit. Almost, <laughs> almost, almost as much as I spent today. Than... But we're going to leave that one to last. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she bought a very big book, but we're going to leave that to last, so make sure you stick around. Uh, so we'll do the haul. We'll, do, we'll take turns. We'll take turns. I picked some of these up at the Vic Market, which was our first stop. I am officially now... A Hot Wheels collector. So I picked up two Batman deals. I don't know if you guys remember seeing my Toy Mate video where I picked up some Hot Wheels, um, but I picked up one of these, which is the OG 66 Batman deal there. What year did those ones come out? The guy said that they did were they old as well. He did say they were a bit older. But he also hesitated when he said that because you'd already paid for it. 2013. This is the one of five. So there's that, which is pretty damn sweet. Uh, yeah, so I, I mostly just collect the 66 Batmobiles and 89, so this is like an 89. It's not completely the same as the movie, you can see it's got like a red trim sort of around the edge of the car, but it's pretty cool. Uh, they were 10 bucks a pop, so they weren't cheap considering Hot Wheels. Two bucks. <laughs> two bucks what I, what I paid last time for Hot Wheels. Yeah, so what she picked up the market is the grand finale of this video. Uh, so we're going to leave that one out. Where do we go next? We went to Comics R Us. Comic, yes, Comics R Us right. next. So you can take, you can show your books okay. first. So from Comics R Us, there wasn't really anything that stood out. I got issue three to eight and ten and eleven of Tom Taylor's Suicide. For twenty score. bucks. For twenty bucks. That's a pretty good right? score. <laughs> um, I've got issue one, so I thought I could just try and fill in the other ones because it is a story that I want to write, and I do love Tom's writing, so. That's pretty good, and most of the times when I go to these stores, I like to pick up myself a gorgeous Spider Gwen cover. Um, so I grabbed this one, which is Gwen and Gwenum, issue 30. I picked up one of these, which um, I missed out from Big City. Mark ordered me one, but it never came in, so it's the Rose Besh variant for Future State Gotham. Watch it come in next week. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, 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 get, I'll gladly own two, two of those. I'll gladly own two of those. Then I picked up one of these, Red Room, issue one. Um, I thought I missed the boat on this, but they had a stack of them at Comics R Us. Comics R Us are a great store. They order a lot of stock, so you can always sort of go there and um, hope that they've still got a lot of stuff. Got some run fillers, some Deadly Class, trying to fill the run of Deadly Class. And then I went through my eBay uh, watch list and I found this, which is one of my bondage cover covers that I was watching, six bucks, uh, which is cheap. It was actually $4.50 on Deal. eBay. $4.50 on eBay, but it was like $3.50 postage, so I did get that uh, for a bit cheaper. Where do we go next? Uh, next we Min Minotaur. Minotaur was where we went to next, the new Minotaur, since they've moved. Yeah, and we didn't buy anything from Minotaur, so that was the only place we wanted to, but things were expensive. And the comic section was really small compared to their last one, so I'm not sure if they're trying to move out of it, or because they've just moved, they haven't properly gotten back they're into it. They're not moving it. out of it, they've just shrunk. Yeah. Shrunk the but section. they did also have a um, Spider-Gwen Go Spider web shooter, which yes. I've never seen before. Yes. So that was very cool. Couldn't afford it, but that was cool. <laughs> Alright, so then we went to All Star. So what did you get from All Star? From All Star. Did oh wait, we took a de show us the critical hit stuff. Oh sorry, because we took a detour. We walked past critical hit after we got lunch, our average lunch. <laughs> Um, I've been slowly collecting the whole run of My Hero Academia, so I grabbed uh, volume 8 is what I'm up to, and also a random packet of, which I've already opened because I'm impatient, <laughs> uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo cards, which I got a really pretty holo kicks from that. I don't know if you can kind of see the holo. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so from All Star. The single issues, I'm not getting Laura and other stories. Um, Simon said that he was surprised that I didn't pick this one oh, up. Such terrible. <laughs> and I, I hadn't even heard of it, but I had a flick through it and I read like through like the first story bit and I was like, yeah, this is something that I would read. 
Uh, next one is a cover by. Oop. I've slowly been um, getting into Vampirella. I try not to cover by Vampirella too much, but now that I read it, I think it's, it's, it makes it's me feel a bit though. better about it. But yes, I remember when Simon picked this one up. Uh, it is a stunning Adam Hughes. Adam Hughes. Adam Hughes <laughs> cover. Uh, so they just had that one in their back issue bin, so I grabbed that. Um, they didn't have a lot of Vampirella there. It looked like someone had. Yeah, someone because I was, was hit. <laughs> I went through it and I stopped, I took a bunch last time I was there, but they definitely someone had come and grabbed them all. And then even better, I ended up getting my copy of issue 86 Nightwing variant, which I'm happy with. I'm looking forward to reading that. I've only jumped on Nightwing since Tom started writing, and I'm absolutely. Loving it. <laughs> um, and also, so next to the counter there, they've got uh, two big boxes of half price bin sort of stuff. And I got my hands on the Throne of Skulls Vampirella Trade. Now, you don't see Vampirella Trades often when you do that cross an arm and a leg. So this one was 54 bucks, full price, but because it's a second hand one, it looks pretty minty though. Um, I got it for 20. Half price. Yeah, half price. 27 bucks. Um, and what's pretty cool is this is the run that I'm reading at the moment, so I can finish reading it physically. Okay, so I picked up from All Star the. What was this? This is the foil. Uh, the 1 in 25. Is that the one? In, no, it's not 1 in 25. I, I think it is. No, not for 15 bucks. I didn't Give get me one, one sec. <laughs> 1 in 25. One in 20. Foil variant. For 15 bucks? How much did Mark charge you? He matched it. Did he? Yep. Wow, there you go. Big City Comics price matching now. <laughs> so I was stoked to get that. Sarah was so cut that I grabbed it. It was the last one. Because I was scared that Mark... Because I, I remember when they all came in, Simon and I were helping him sort through them, that he did get one of the 1 in 25s. And he said that he'd let me know the price, and I didn't hear anything. And then because I didn't say anything, I was like, shit, I've lost it. <laughs> Uh, then I picked up a Carla Cohen Red Sonja cover. You know, you guys know I've already got this, but when it's ten bucks, you know I'll get another one. <laughs> and the last one I picked up was a local uh, in the local section. So this is from an Australian artist, um, Angie Spice, who I actually interviewed at Days of Future Pop Culture a little while back. Um, I actually bought the first five issues of her book. It's called Courier: The Adventures of Korea. Geraldine Baker. Uh, and Barker, sorry, Geraldine Barker, uh, and now I've got the final issue. So this is cool. So the first five issues are actually black and white, and this one's done in color. So yeah, I'm super stoked to pick that up. And if I ever get to meet um, Angie again, I'll get her to sign that because all my other copies were signed. Perfect. Is there anything else? Big City Comics. Big City Comics. Our best friend Mark. What did you get from Big City Comics? Uh, from Big City Comics, Mark said that he had something for me, which I was very confused about uh, and he handed me this envelope which for those who watch Simon's videos might be um, familiar the other week he got given an AOK from anonymous. A, an anonymous uh, person and they've graciously um, given me one of these as well and thank you to whoever it is but you, you, you're kind of killing us <laughs> I wonder if it's Jamie Wonder. I wonder if it's Jamie. But what happens if it's not Jamie and I just I wonder if it's Jamie? Jamie's gonna feel bad and then he's probably gonna, <laughs> 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 he's probably gonna do, get me something now. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, but also so, screw you. <laughs> uh, I actually did use this gift card um, today. I used it on two ratio variants. Um, I picked up the that foil. One in twenty-five. Do you guys price match? Wow. I didn't say that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and I also, as soon as I saw this one get announced, I texted Mark instantly, and I was like, "If you get this in, mine. Uh, it's the one in ten of House of Slaughter issue one second print." Mark is still yet to give me a ratio. Uh, so, what was the big book that you purchased today? Big book. To Sean, to Sean. Let's go right in for it, under this pile somewhere. I can't believe you just stacked all that stuff on top <laughs> of your $250 book. I remember when we went to the Yarraville convention that I never remember the name of. Comic Fair, wasn't it? Comic convention? Fair, sorry. Um, 
I saw one of these in um, this stall's back issue bin and also they had a slabbed one. And I looked at it, but I already spent a lot because I got the Spider-Man statue and everything, so I didn't get it. But anyway, they had this at the market, the same stall, and they still had it, so I couldn't walk past it this time. Uh, we've got the amazing Spider-Man issue 4, the original sin, which is the first appearance of Silk. My gorgeous baby Silk. Big book. Big book. Yeah, see, I don't buy big books like that that are worth money. I just buy liquidy covers. <laughs> it would be nice when I have my Edge of Spider-Verse 2 as well. I just they can chill out together. See, if I buy a big book like that, I ain't spending any money for the rest of the day, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, this was the first thing I bought before I got everything else. Um, but it is a nice pickup, I'll give you very, that. very happy, especially the price is starting to jump a bit on it. So, getting at the price that I did, happy <laughs> score. All right, well, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will have Captain Saro's channel link in the description below. She makes pretty good videos when she makes videos. <laughs> so you should check her out. Uh, and if you guys are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe to me too. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out all the links in the description below. And until next time, I'm Simple Simon. This is Captain Saro. <laughs> Keep, Keep it, it simple. simple.